1976, David Coverdale was asked to replace Ian Gillen as vocalist for Deep Purple. Since then, he's played the world over with White Snake and also spent a few years jamming with Led Zeppelin's Jimmy Page. And the last time he was here was 32 years ago when he had a slight run-in with the law. The chief of police was backstage. There'd been an awful this before you guys were fucking born. Yeah, 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 shit. But it was very moralistic and uh, very, very sweet. But uh, the chief of police was there and he said... They'd had a bunch of trouble with Eric Clapton when he was at the height of his heroin, and, you know, his drug abuse. Yeah. He was like falling around the stage, vomiting, you know, which is exactly <laughs> what everybody in New Zealand wanted to see. <laughs> I was the prime target for an example. Yeah. Uh, so he said, we're recording the show and uh, all the boys and girls of the force are here and uh, they're all fans. And, yeah. and I was a snotty, you know, arrogant rock and roll aristocrat. <laughs> I went, yeah, okay. So we do a couple of songs and then I start talking to the audience. He said, well, the chief of the police is back here. And there's boom, you know, I said, yeah, 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 no. I said, he's asking me not to use the slang word for fornication, but for the life of me, I can't remember. Anybody know? And 40,000 people went, fuck! <laughs> right, that's so I thought that was a clever shit. So I was arrested after the show. And so you've just been denied on the cells and all I was just it? having an innocent fun. Wow. Now, um, you obviously you replaced Ian Gillen in, in Deep Purple as well. Mm, what, what, yeah. Tell me, talk, take me back to that day. We well, got the phone Not calls. before you were born. Before I was what born, are you mate. interested for? Jesus. <laughs> I'm interested in the career, back. Um, and when you, when you got the phone call or, or the telegram yeah. or whatever it may be back in those days, uh, saying, you know, take over from, from Ian. Yeah, what was yeah. it? Talk, talk us through the feelings. Well, yeah, it was, uh, it was interesting because I felt very confident. I was a, a kid, never made a record before. I was 20 years old. Mm. And, uh, and I got the audition. And on the strength of a, a drunken demo tape that I sent down. So, boys and girls, even if you're drunk, you can still get big gigs. <laughs> um, so they, they arranged for me to come down to London, and uh, which I knew if I'd had the opportunity to stand there and present myself, mm. that you know I could put on a good representation. And fortunately, it happened. And it was actually a week to the day I got a phone call to tell me I was in, which was mind blowing. Now, well, what do you think of, uh, of of rock music in particular coming out nowadays? You know, you've seen well, it I like a lot of stuff. I've got an eleven-year-old son, so he yeah. introduces me to Disturbed right. and stuff, and you know, great. I'm a song guy, so it's it's not to do with image or attitude or whatever. I love good songs, and mm. I like a lot of the stuff Linkin Park are doing, and I, right. I love that Rage Against the Machines back together. I think that trio is like way up there with the Zeppelin boys, you know. Yeah. Here I go again, quite possibly your, your signature song with, with White Snake in particular. How do you know when you've written a hit song you such don't. as it? The song was about my first, the, the break of my first marriage. Now it's like this big arena anthem, punching f f fists in the air, but it, it's about a divorce. <laughs> you, you wrote that song about your, your first divorce, but then you met your uh, second wife, didn't you? On the, on oh, the video there's a shoot. bunch of very acerbic salt and vinegar songs about that one too. Is you it? see, you pay a lot of money in settlements, divorce settlements, and then you yeah. make it all back writing about it. Hey, listen, mate, thanks for coming down and oh, playing for pleasure. us. Yeah, nice pleasure. to meet you, man. And nice you to too. meet you. David Coverdale, ladies and gentlemen.